came to Australia a year ago in a completely unplanned. I've lived in Venezuela, then back to Montevideo, then I lived in Paraguay for several years. And then incredibly I contacted a female friend from about 40 years ago and as destiny dictates we were married and I ended up in Australia. Something completely unexpected. My name's Rodney. I'm Uruguayan painter born in 1945. Maybe one of the most frequent questions asked is, why does one start to paint? Lots of people ask me, why do you paint? And the simple answer is, it's a mystery. Perhaps one of the things that attracts me to painting is the presence of a mystery. It's something that I can't understand rationally. After 45 years painting, this mystery still exists for me and I'm still investigating it without ever really having solved it. Ultimately, art is directed from one human being to another. But, but within this context, I specifically focus on one of the most beautiful things in nature, the woman. From my own experience, perhaps women are even more beautiful than a galaxy but actually totally unprotected politically at this moment. In a way I try to give emphasis to this so that there's a re-evaluation of the woman. So my fundamental theme is the woman. The constant theme. I believe that women are like goddesses. She's creative, she's got that magic capacity to bring life into this world. There are all, the, the feminine and the moon are always in my works. The title of this painting is The Owner of the Moon because the moon actually recepts femininity. So I always include the moon, because the woman is the owner of femininity. Here's another here. Also accompanied by the moon, the moon, the night, the woman, they're all feminine elements. The earth is feminine, the moon, the water, the sea, the stars. That's why there's so many feminine elements here. Even the cool colors are feminine. Here's another, the couple, where man and woman, she's supporting the man. Actually, this is me and my wife. Actually, it's a painting of our relationship. A woman always consoles a man. Well, this one is the, uh, the hunter of birds. It's a girl hidden in the uh, vegetation there. This is a painting which is a series I started recently and then stopped. It's got to do with quantum theory, the origin of matter. It's a bit philosophical. It's unfinished. But needs needs a lot of work yet. This is the representation of the of the basic form of matter. 
Actually, it's the universe looking at itself. That concept that God is within us, and but there's also God outside ourselves. But the clearest concept I can have of God is that God transforms himself into the universe and, and looks at himself through human beings. This is also a couple. Let's say it's also my wife and I. Again, the woman is the predominant figure. The man is concentrated on the woman. She's directing or she's in charge of this boat. I think that the woman should have a much more important role in our present society than she has now. Maybe we could start with having governments which are half men and half women. And maybe in time, have an all-woman government. Because I, I believe this machistic society has really failed. I'd like to try a more matriarchal society and see what happens. This painting represents the female intuition. You can see she's got a, a glass sphere in her hand, which fortune tellers use. And this is, this is the wonderful female intuition. I call this painting the fortune teller. Federico Fellini used to say that art is a sea that we can't see. And this is perhaps the closest description of art for me. I would say that an artist is, is someone who is on the other side of the wall and that they hear a bell or something on the other side of that barrier and they're always trying to find out what's on that other side. Basically what I'm trying to communicate is that woman is given the place that she deserves in our society. That we revalue her. To see her from a new point of view, to move away from this machistic nonsense that we've been carrying on with all these years and that she has an important role in political life because she's got a capacity, a sensitivity. Just the fact that she's a mother produces in her a social sensibility that man doesn't have. She's more sensitive to social problems, to social issues like public health and street kids as in Latin America. And everything to do with maintaining life. Because woman, the woman is the one who brings life into this world. And she has a certain awareness of life, much clearer than man has. She's almost like the owner of life. She generates life, she creates life, and that's why she should be given much more important role in our society. That's what I think about. That she's given the role or the place in society in respect that she deserves, not murdered, not used as a servant. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.